watching WGN Morning News at 6. A 17-year-old girl was sexually assaulted inside a car on the northwest side. The FBI has released new information about the investigation into the pastor from northwest Indiana who was abruptly fired. Authorities are looking for four men suspected in the violent robbery of a jewelry store in Cicero. Good morning, I'm Larry Potash. And I'm Robin Baumgarten. Before we get to the top stories, let's check in with Paul for a look at the weather. Paul? Good morning. Not a bad day for us here today. We were looking at clear conditions across Chicagoland right now, but as the morning hours progress, we're going to watch some clouds increase. We're going to see daytime high readings are going to be close the average high of 83 and we'll bring some rain showers in here for us this evening and into the overnight hours tonight and tomorrow outside right now we're at 73 at o'hare at 76 at midway 75 at the lakefront 70 for lansing and 65 in aurora in general we've been watching some clouds increase across the area but uh, still partly sunny skies at least here this morning and uh, we'll top out around 83 we have cooler temperatures and rain in the forecast details on that in just a couple minutes right now some traffic sarah all right thanks paul we'll take a look outside there's the shot of the dan ryan early on this morning this this is right around 35th, just north of here at the Stevenson, had a disabled vehicle blocking lane that just got cleared out of the way. Still a bit slow approaching that point, though. It's about 20 minutes coming in from 95th this morning. Also had an accident on I-80 westbound. That's still there. It's in the two right lanes at Kedzie. So expect delays right at Kedzie this morning. Robin and Larry. A teenage girl was sexually assaulted in the Avondale neighborhood. A 17-year-old girl got into a man's car after he offered her a ride. The man then threatened her with a gun and drove her to an alley in the 2700 block of North Artesian. The man sexually assaulted the girl who then got out of the car and called police. Police did not release a description of the suspect or his car. At this point, no arrests have been made. Bomb and arson units are investigating a fire that damaged six garages on Chicago's north side overnight. Firefighters were called to the alley between the 1600 block of West Farragut and West Berwyn uh, just before midnight. Uh, officials say the fire was intentionally set in one garage and quickly spread to the others. The fire has been put out. No one was injured, but property was damaged. An elderly woman was killed after she was hit by a megabus near Union Station. 76-year-old Donna Halstead was crossing the street yesterday when the bus made a left turn and hit her. The bus driver Shamika Hudson was cited for failing to yield to a pedestrian. Megabus says it's working with police to investigate that incident. This comes less than a week after a Megabus crash downstate. Last Thursday, one person died and dozens more were hurt after the bus crashed on I-55. The former pastor of a mega church in Hammond could face federal charges if he had an affair with a minor. The Northwest Indiana Times reports Jack Schapp is being investigated for taking a female church member across state lines for illegal sexual activity. The FBI is also looking into whether she was below the federal age of consent, which is 18 years old. A church spokesman said the girl is 17. Indiana law sets the age of consent at 16 in most cases. Schapp was fired from his post as pastor of the First Baptist Church last week. He is married to the daughter of the church's founder. A person has died after falling onto the tracks at a CTA Blue Line station. This happened at the Forest Park Blue Line stop at 1030 last night. Police have not identified the person who fell. Power had to be shut off in both directions. A shuttle bus took passengers from Forest Park to the Harlem and Oak Park stations for several hours overnight after that incident. Sir to the blue line the station this morning and the whole blue line back to normal. Police are looking for at least four men who robbed a suburban jewelry store. It happened Monday afternoon at the Roosevelt Gold Exchange on the 1200 block of Cicero Avenue in Cicero. The men walked into the jewelry store, tied up and beat the clerk and got away with $40,000 in cash and jewelry. The entire robbery was captured on video. They weren't able to take the actual security camera because of the owner's dog. When captured, police say the men face armed robbery and aggravated battery charges. The judge in the Drew Peterson trial may toss out more testimony this morning. Randy Bell is almost live at the Will County Courthouse with more. Randy? Good morning, Robin. Prosecutors are coming off another difficult day as the judge is expected to rule on whether to toss out the testimony of another key witness.